Hey everybody, Neil Malik from Knack Training bringing you another everyday office video. My video today is about a, an essential tool inside of Microsoft Outlook called a search folder. Now, there's an important distinction to be made here. Um, whenever I teach this application um, live, I always have to spend a good amount of time explaining to people what a search folder really is. Uh, so let's be very clear here. A search folder is a search, not a folder. Isn't that great? Okay, so here's what, uh, here's what I always tell people. If I told you that there was a way to save your searches so that you could reuse them over and over again, you'd think to yourself, oh, that sounds like a great tool. I bet it's called a saved search or something like that. But actually in Outlook, it's always called a search folder. Unless you have Outlook for the Mac, in which case it's called a magic folder. I don't even know what the magic is. Um, but here's the basic point. Let's say that I know I am going to have to interact with people at gmx.com on a regular basis. So I've got this email from eric at gmx.com, got a bunch of other emails from Eric, and you know, maybe uh, some of them are in the marketing campaign subfolder, uh, maybe some of them are in my sent items, you know, all over the map. And I need to be able to get back all of those emails that are from Eric or from anybody at gmx.com. Now I can go to the search current mailbox up at the top of the screen, make sure that um, it says current mailbox and not the current folder. So that's able to search here in all the subfolders. And then I could say, okay, uh, it's from Eric, for example, from Eric. And then anything that comes up here, no matter whether it's in the inbox or whether it's in one of the subfolders, you can actually see, if you hit the drop down menu here, that you can arrange this by where it's placed, the folder where it is. And you can see that some of the emails are in the marketing campaign subfolder and some are in the inbox. So this is of course a benefit. The ability to find all the emails from Eric, no matter where they are, is beautiful. It's important to have. But if you need to find these emails, let's say twice a day for the next six months, it's going to be exhausting to rerun the search over and over again. So instead, here's what you do. You come over here to search folders on the left and uh, you either right click on search folders and choose new search folder or you click the folder tab up here at the top of the screen and click on new search folder. And it says, okay, well, how am I going to identify these emails? Are they unread emails? Are they flagged? Are they important? Are they from and to specific people, etc.? So let's say I'm looking for all emails from Eric. I can choose mail from specific people. I can hit choose right down here and I can uh, choose from any of the people that are internal at the company or I can type in eric.l.goodwin at gmx.com for example and then click OK. And notice here that any email from eric.l.goodwin at gmx.com pops up right here. And again, by hitting the drop down menu, I can say arrange by the folder that it's in. And so I can see this emails that are from Eric in the marketing campaign subfolder as well as the inbox. And here's what's very important. Just like I said at the beginning, it's not a folder, which means that these emails that appear to be in this search folder right here are not actually here. They are in whatever locations they're in. They're just being brought up by the search. And that's why I can come, come over here to the search folder, right click and delete the search folder. And it will tell me, okay, if you permanently delete the search folder, the items contained in the folder will not be deleted because they're not in the folder. I, just, I, I hate this. I wish they had uh, a better terminology around this. A search folder is just a saved search, but you can see exactly how easy it is to use. So I click yes, and now the search folder is gone, but the emails from Eric are still here in my inbox as well as in my marketing campaign subfolder. 